Tears and welcome back to my channel! Today I am finally giving you guys a tutorial that you have been asking for, pleading for and demanding from me for a number of months now on social media, especially on Instagram because you guys have seen a bunch of posts that I have made of um, panels for my published manga and you guys are seeing all the different poses and you're like, oh my gosh, please teach us how to draw these poses, please. And so today I'm finally going to make this tutorial. This video will be part one of a short series of drawing hack videos that I'll be posting over the next few days. In today's video, I'll start off by sharing some super useful hacks and drawing techniques with you to help you master drawing bodies and poses. In video two, three, and four, we'll practice drawing basic arm, leg, and torso poses using the techniques taught in this video. And then finally, in video five, you'll follow along as I draw a bunch of poses and put everything we've learned in this video into play. And guys, do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you find it useful because it gives me a lot of encouragement and know that you're enjoying these videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you will not miss any drawing tutorials, publishing tutorials, or videos about my life as a published author because seriously, <laughs> life as an author can be freaking crazy. You don't even understand. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss those videos, guys. <laughs> I do want to point out that I feel like you'll get the most out of this video if you are familiar with anatomy and proportions and if you still need more practice on that, please watch these two videos right here. They will teach you the basics of anatomy and proportion and please guys show your support for my published series Sacred by visiting my website sacredthemanga.com where you can read chapters of my manga for free. And the series has lots and lots of comedy in it, but if you enjoy the occult, mythology, and folklore from all around the world, I really think you're going to get a kick out of the dark side of my series. So without further interruptions, let's get started. This first hack may sound like common sense, but it's something many of you don't quite do. So hack number one, envision the pose you'd like to draw. If you really have a clear idea of the pose you're going for, you'd be surprised at how much easier drawing a pose will become once you know exactly what it is you're trying to draw. Hack number two. Need reference for a pose you can't quite get right? Don't worry, I got you. <laughs> Ask loved ones to pose for you. Yes, grab a friend or a family member and ask them to be your glorious models. <laughs> it's free labor! <laughs> and because they love you, they'll more than likely say yes and go along with it. So take advantage of their love and make them pose for you. Pay attention to how their limbs bend, what parts of their body covers what part of their body when they pose, and all that good stuff. They don't have to be the exact body type as the character you're drawing, so don't worry. When I was learning how to draw bodies, I always asked my cousin to pose for me, and they loved it. It was so much fun for them to see themselves become a part of my artwork. Hack number three. Always keep a mirror by you at all times. Sometimes a pose or expression is too hard to communicate to your model, so you may need to pose for yourself. You can use a mirror or even take photos of yourself and use yourself as reference. Hack number four. You can also throw a Google search for male stock photos or female stock photos, whatever you need, and you'll come across countless useful photos that are free to use and were created for artists to use as reference so that they can learn how to draw the human form. Now, let's get down to business and get to drawing. Yes! Yes, bitch, yes! You know what pose you like to draw, and you have your reference ready to go. But you don't know how to actually begin drawing the pose, right? Child, mama's here to help. <laughs> Hack number five. If you want to draw your character's full body on your page, be sure to draw a line, 
where you want the top of their head to be and a line where the bottom of their feet should be. This will allow you to make a few measurements and make sure your entire character's body fits perfectly on your paper. Hack number six. Measuring your character's body by heads is the key to drawing a proportionate and anatomically correct figure. As I've shown you in my two videos on anatomy and proportion, I taught you guys how to create a basic chart that measured the height of your character's body by heads, as well as showing you how each part of the body lined up to each other. So once you've sketched out the basic shape of your character's head, take a piece of paper, line up its edge with the very center of the head you sketched, make a couple of lines to measure it, and voila! Mwah! You've now created a ruler of sorts <laughs> that will help you measure out your figure and see if they are in proportion. And yes, you can use this head ruler, if you will, to double check the proportions of a body that is in an action pose. Hack number seven. Not sure how many heads tall your model is? Do not worry, baby doll. If you're drawing from life, take your pencil, hold it in your hand, Extend your arm, close one eye, and using the eraser end of your pencil to line up with the top of your model's head, and using the tip of your thumb to line up with the model's chin, measure the size of your model's head. Once you've done this, keep your arm extended and your thumb where it is on your pencil, and carefully measure out their body and count out how many heads in height they are. I'm sure you've seen people do this in cartoons and never really knew what they were doing, right? Well, now you know. <laughs> Hack number eight. The human head comes in many shapes and sizes, but always start off with a circle for the rounded top of the skull and a line down the center to help with symmetry. Again, everyone's face is different, but most people's eyes can be found directly in the middle of their faces. Ears can be found here too, but you know, on the sides, not in the middle of their face. You, you get what I mean. <laughs> Make a cylinder for the neck and a wide, short triangle for the shoulder muscles. When a shoulder is raised, that side of the neck shortens while the other side of the neck lengthens. If the head tilts forward, part of the neck is no longer visible, etc, etc. A video on drawing faces in many different angles is coming very soon, but for now, please check out this video to learn three basic angles. Hack number nine. Try drawing a stick figure to lightly sketch out the pose of your model. I'll show you step by step how to add the flesh and details to the stick figure later. Or if stick figures don't work for you, you can create a sketch that lightly captures the gesture or shape of your model's pose and later carve in the details. Sometimes artists get very overwhelmed by a complicated pose because they're seeing the body as nothing but a jumble of limbs, a head, and a torso. I know what you're thinking, um, Miss Jimenez, that's exactly what a body is made up of, a head, limbs, a torso. <laughs> But hear me out because hack number 10, break a pose down into basic shapes. If you're able to draw simple shapes like triangles, ovals, circles, squares, cylinders, and bells, yeah, bells, yeah, definitely. <laughs> You'll be able to draw all sorts of different poses and I'll show you how. Sometimes a complicated pose can only be tackled by drawing out the overall shape the body forms and then going in and adding details afterwards. See what I mean? Hack number 11. Find a pose in a magazine or stock photo online. Take some tracing paper and break down the pose into basic guidelines just like I showed you in my anatomy videos. Once you're done, remove the tracing paper and use what you've created as your reference for your study drawing. Warning! Whatever you do, do not trace the guidelines you've just created. 
actually take the time to redraw the guidelines yourself in order to get the most out of this hack. Doing this will help train your eyes and hands to draw proper anatomy as well as help you memorize countless poses. So don't be lazy. Do not trace what's on your tracing paper, okay? Okay, glad we have a mutual understanding. When you take a closer look at how the human body moves and bends, you'll realize that each part of the body has a limited amount of mobility and therefore seem to always form the same basic shapes. For instance, just about every pose an arm makes can fit perfectly into a triangle. You see what I mean? Just about all leg poses pretty much always fit into a triangle or square. You see that? Torsos are a little trickier because their basic shapes aren't as easily recognizable as the arms and legs are. But trust me, their basic shape can pretty much be broken down to two eggs stacked on top of each other. this little one-on-one -on -one talk we just had right here, you and me. I hope it was super useful and will help you on your artistic journey. So don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Please check out my website, sacredthemanga.com. Until next time, guys, please take care. God bless and do not be afraid to nerd out.